I don't know his state of mind right now. Now, His Excellency Bobby Wine, the president of NUP, was yesterday in an interview on Citizen TV in the Plus 254 Kenya, and uh, he was questioned on a number of issues that I feel like you, my audience right here on The Buzz UG, should actually know about. <music> First of all, some people have been asking why Bobby Wine and his opposition team decided to have the Uganda Human Rights Accountability Conference in Nairobi, Kenya. Now, Bobby Wine said President Museveni's government wouldn't have allowed them to have it in Uganda, and that is why they decided to travel to Nairobi. We can't be allowed to have a gathering, especially a gathering talking about human rights. We are largely seen as illegal citizens. Many times they've tear gassed, uh, disrupted our gatherings. So we thought for us to be able to communicate to Ugandans and the people of the world, um, we decided to come to Kenya, where we knew that there's at least a little bit of rule of law. You will remember that in 1979, Ugandans had to converge in Moshi, in what is known as the, uh, the Moshi Conference, to base there to go back home and remove the dictatorship of Idi Amin. And the same, the same thing happens in the 80s. So we look at Kenya as a safe haven for Democrats, especially we that are nonviolent. Now, Bobby Wine also revealed that President Museveni and his government are planning to abolish elections in Uganda because President Museveni can no longer stand an embarrassment of going into an election. There's a scheme in the offing to even scrap presidential elections. Why? Because General Museveni can no longer take the embarrassment of going into an election. I'll tell you that uh, it always begins as an irresponsible MP making errant statements. And indeed, General Museveni uh, denies it, like he denied uh, the plot to change, to remove term limits, like he denied the plot to remove the age limit. That is how he recently denied the plot to remove presidential elections. But this is how he does it. General Museveni uses leaders or MPs or politicians that seem unserious to test the waters. He'll bring something that you will look clearly, clearly silly, but later on, he's going to jump on it. So, like I was saying, today they are planning to remove presidential elections. Now, as citizens of Uganda, we are all concerned about a peaceful transition of power in our beautiful country. We don't know if this will ever happen in Uganda. But Bobby Wine said, no matter what, we still have to struggle to assure that power leaves an individual's hands. That is something that my grandparents longed for. And then my parents longed for it. And now I'm longing for it. General Museveni took power when I was four years. I'm now 40. You know, Uganda has been independent for 60 years. General Museveni has taken 36 years of that and still counting. So for me to be on this TV and tell you that on such and such a date is when we're going to have uh, a peaceful transfer of power, I would be lying to you. We still have to struggle to ensure that power leaves an individual's hand and goes back to the institution of state. The institutions are the ones that are going to be bigger than human greed. Now, Bobby Wine, in the same interview, was also questioned about President Museveni's son, General Mohozi Kanerugaba's presidential bid in 2026, and uh, he said that he's not bothered because he already beat his father in the previous election. Like I said, I already beat Museveni. I already beat his father, maybe if he wants a rerun, but that rerun has to be free, fair, and credible. General Museveni is trying to prop up his son. He's trying to turn Uganda into a monarchy. You know, that's how they normally do. And of course, if they are not resisted by the people, they always get their way. Bobby Wine also said that Mohozi cannot even vote for himself. I don't know what he meant right there. For Mohozi, I hesitate to respond to him because I don't know 
his state of mind right now. Maybe if they will play the interview for him later when he's in his sober state of mind. But he also knows he cannot vote himself. Bobby Wine was also questioned about why he chose this path of politics and uh, this is what he said. You know, we have always looked out up to the intellectuals of this world. Back in Uganda, intellectuals are the worst undoing to our country. You know, they are either scared or too satisfied. They have too much to protect. But we were many. So I rose to the occasion to represent my people. I started out as an activist. And before long, my friends around me were saying, yo, the things you tell us, Go tell them to us publicly. And when I made that step, man, looking around, masses were like, yo, you are the guy. And said, okay, did you say I'm the guy? All right, I'm the guy. I put on my suit. And here we are. Well, that is some of the information that I managed to get for you from this interview that was broadcasted live on Citizen TV down in the Plus 254 Kenya. But uh, more updates will be coming your way right here on The Buzz UG. What you have to do, be part of the Buzz family so that you don't miss on any story right here on The Buzz UG. Well, my name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and uh, it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.